So Elon Musk just said AI will surpass human intelligence in the next year and all humans combined by 2029. He was responding to a tweet on the Joe Rogan podcast where he was talking to a futurist that claimed AI would reach human intelligence by 2029. So we're not quite there, but we will be there. Uh, and by 2029, uh, it will match any person. And Elon isn't the only billionaire predicting AGI. Sundar Puchai is a firm believer that AGI is almost here. In a recent interview with New York Times, he said this. So it almost doesn't matter whether you've reached AGI or not. You're going to have systems which are capable of delivering benefits at a scale we've never seen before and potentially causing real harm. Can we have an AI system which can cause disinformation at scale? Yes. Is it AGI? It really doesn't matter. During a 2023 talk, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman was asked about whether AGI could destroy humanity and he responded the bad case and i think this is important to say is like lights out for all of us in some earlier interviews he declared that i think ai will most likely sort of lead to the end of the world but in the meantime there will be great companies created with serious machine learning and probably ai will kill us all but until then we're going to turn out a lot of great students the audience laughed at this but was he joking if he was he was also serious. The OpenAI website itself states in a 2023 article that the risks of AGI may be existential, meaning roughly that they could wipe out the entire human species. Another article on their website affirms that a misaligned super intelligent AGI could cause grievous harm to the world. During his closing remarks at the year's beneficial AGI summit in Panama, computer scientist Ben Gortzel said that although people most likely won't build human level or superhuman AI until 2029 or 2030, there's a chance it could happen as soon as 2027. So what does this all mean? Experts, billionaires, scientists are all claiming AGI could happen within the next decade, with some saying even sooner. Should you believe this also? But what exactly is AGI? Because it isn't exactly as simple as AI smarter than humans, because we've seen this from my previous videos, AI has done that multiple times. An AI beat human experts at chess more than 20 years ago, but that AI couldn't read a book, plan its day, or do anything else that humans can. AI can be smarter than humans at certain things, but artificial general intelligence is capable of doing anything. Other AIs exist for assessing bank loans, diagnosing diseases, forecasting natural disasters, and so on. In contrast, artificial general intelligence could do all of these things. Ilyan Sutskever, the chief scientist at OpenAI, defines AGI as being potentially smarter than humans in anything and everything. With all of human knowledge to back it up, along with having the ability to teach itself, thereby creating new, even potentially smarter AGIs. Okay, so that's nice and all, but when exactly is AGI coming? Claude 3 having been recently released, it seems like we're getting a new AI breakthrough every few weeks. I mean, just a few days ago, we got Devon AI, which is supposedly able to do everything a human software engineer can do, only faster and better. The AI arms race has never been closer, and it all started on a measly day, mid-November 2022, when workers at OpenAI were tasked with one mission, release a chatbot. Unexpectedly, this kicked off something big. News companies, major headlines, Twitter, TikTok were all raving about this tool that could whip up essays in mere minutes. OpenAI had made it known that they were the ones leading the AI race. They took the crown from Google, who had been leaders of artificial intelligence development since 2006. There was a point in time where you couldn't step outside your house without hearing the term ChatGPT. And how did Google respond? By releasing Bard, a handy but disappointing chatbot not quite up to par with ChatGPT. And for the following months, AI companies rushed to compete with OpenAI, releasing hundreds of different chatbots. And it wasn't until recently that a company did release something that would challenge the throne of OpenAI, Google. They released Gemini Ultra, which beat out GPT-4 in all of the major benchmarks used to train artificial intelligence. And just last week, Anthropic released Claude 3, which supposedly beat both. From late 2022 to now, advancements in AI have grown exponentially with no signs of slowing down. I mean, just the other day, an employee at OpenAI who goes by Rune on Twitter tweeted that things are accelerating. Pretty much nothing needs to change course to achieve AGI. Worrying about timelines, that is worrying about whether AGI will be built this year or 10 years from now, is idle anxiety outside of your control. Pretty much saying AGI is coming, regardless of whether it's coming in the next year or the next 10, but you need to prepare for it because there's no possibility where it doesn't happen. Demis Hassabis, the co-founder of DeepMind, says that when we started DeepMind back in 2010, we thought of it as a 20-year project. And actually, I think we're on track. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had AGI-like systems within the next decade. AGI is coming. 
and there is nothing you can do to stop it. The truth is, you can't prepare for it. So what must you do? Continue living life as normal. Stop worrying about when it will happen because it is inevitable. Instead, focus on the meaningful things in life. Those fleeting moments you won't get back. The mundane things you won't realize how important they are until they're gone. Family, friends, partners. When you're on your deathbed reflecting on the life you lived, the regrets, the memories, you won't be thinking of whether artificial general intelligence is coming. You'll want to spend those last moments with the people you love, and that's what you should be doing right now. Stop worrying about the inevitable because there's nothing we can do to prepare for AGI.